So I recently got the chance to attend APEC 2022 in Bangkok, Thailand, attended by major world leaders from 21 different global member economies. YouTube invited me to come interview some of these leaders, and I challenged myself to try and speak at least some of each leader's language. With tens of thousands of Thai police and soldiers out in force, security and scheduling for this event was extremely tight, so I was very limited in whom I could speak with and what I could ask, but I do think I at least managed to catch some of these leaders off guard and connect with them on a more human level. Here's a snippet of our conversations and hope you enjoy. You're the new, Thailand's new ambassador to America. Yes. Yes. That's amazing. Yes. Mr. Secretary, it's an honor to meet you. Thank you. Great to meet you. Great to meet you as well. Yeah. Pleasure. It is an honor uh, to meet you. Yes, thank you. Um, Same here. Okay. First question. Um, Ibu di rumah, apa kabar, Pak? Baik, sehat. Baik, baik. Doing, doing good. Oh, you speak English. You speak English. Okay, nice. So I've been asking leaders today, do you speak any foreign languages? In my case, I speak French. Ravi de vous rencontrer. Formidable, vous êtes francophone? Well, uh, no, 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 no. Je parle seulement un peu. Quinn Chopkin, Ahan America, Ahan America, Rai Tisut. Hamburger. Hamburger? Hamburger. I'm going to eat it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Doctor, are you from Malaysia? Yes, I'm from Malaysia. Okay. Can I speak about Malaysia? Just a little bit. A little bit. A little bit. A little bit. Yeah. Well, let's try this. Papa, do you want to go to New York? I like to do it. Well, I like to do it in New York. And what is your favorite food? What is your favorite food? You know, the halal food. On 15th oh, and Broadway. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I still remember that's that. That's the best. That's the best. 50, that's the best. Yeah. Get, on 15th and Broadway, if with I'm not mistaken. With the white sauce. With the white sauce. Yeah. And, uh, and the hot right. sauce. Pourquoi parlez-vous si bien le français? Vous avez habité en France. J'ai habité en France entre l'âge de 9 et 18 ans. J'ai eu cette expérience assez remarquable de pouvoir vivre ailleurs, en dehors de mon pays. Uh, et donc j'ai passé uh, ma scolarité uh, en France. Très bien, très bien. So, orang, orang Malaysia boleh saya banyak bahasa, right? Boleh bertutur dalam bahasa... Bahasa, bahasa yeah, Inggris, yeah, yeah, bahasa, Inggris bahasa, bahasa, bahasa Melayu, yeah. bahasa, banyak bahasa China, yeah. right? Bahasa Tamil. My Malaysian friends in New York speak, you know, in addition to Malay and English, yeah. multiple varieties of Chinese. Right. And, you know... It's very normal yeah. for Malaysian to have at least um, to be at least bilingual. Now, now, Thailand has a long history of massages, and I think it's well known around the world, and especially in America, that Thailand has some of the best massages on the planet. And why, why is that? Well, I think uh, partly because I think Thai people are good with their hands, yeah. and they are very, uh, they are very uh, delicate. You can see right. a lot of craftsmanship uh, in Thailand, wood, yeah. woodwork, wood, woodcraft, Jewelry. Yeah. Our people are, are very, very skilled uh, mm. using their hands in producing things yeah. and also massa massaging. You, you want to experience uh, Thai mm. wellness and massage and spa? Go cup. Sure. Yes, that would be amazing. That'd Please, be great. maybe right. I'll join you. Okay. Yeah. You, you come have it too. I, we'll I both. Don't particularly we'll enjoy both massages so much, okay. but you don't like massages? I'll, I'll make an exception. Oh my God. We are a multiracial, multicultural right. country. So, for example, I come from a family that is so multiracial. You cannot say I am Malay, Chinese, Indian, whatever. It's, it's very right. confusing, it can confuse a lot of folks. I grew up speaking the local Portuguese dialect and the local Nyonya dialect. I learned Malay in school. I learned proper English in school. So, so I guess I've kind of exhausted the extent of my French, but <laughs> what impact did, did living in France and um, you know, knowing French have on your, your career? Look, I think it opens incredible new horizons. Yeah. And anyone who has the opportunity to live in another country especially at a young age. It, first of all, uh, allows you to see your own country yeah. through different eyes. And that's a very powerful thing. And of course, it exposes you to new cultures, uh, new languages, new, new histories. Somebody come, somebody come, somebody come. Is this yeah, painful? Yeah, yeah. No, it's good. It's good? Dimak, dimak. Dimak. Dimak, open cup. Is she gonna break my neck? <laughs> What's with the sound? <laughs> Have you heard of a website called Ome TV? Yeah, I think I heard that one. Yeah. You have. It's similar to Omegle in that it lets you video chat with strangers yes. around the world, right? And I used to spend a lot of time on this website for making videos, talking to people in different languages. And I was very surprised to encounter so many Indonesians yes. on this website. Yes. Do you have any idea why Indonesians <laughs> are so interested in meeting yeah. foreigners and chatting with random strangers? Our culture, yeah. Indonesians in general, they are open. Yeah, they are open, they are friendly. Right? And they always love to talk to people, people from different cultures, people from different backgrounds, people from different countries, right? Welcoming all of those uh, people. Second, 
uh, this digitalization that is taking place in Indonesia. All younger generations uh, mostly have smartphones. They are friendly as Indonesians, so these two are combined, so that's why. Oh my god, this is great. This is the second time in my life, Harry. What? How do you think we can encourage more Americans to learn foreign languages, and do you even think that's important? I do, uh, because first of all, it's, it's just a powerful way to connect. It's also uh, respect uh, for, um, uh, for another culture. Uh, and it's a way of better understanding, both literally, but also even figuratively, where someone else is coming from. Saya belum belum pernah ke Indonesia. Oh, you sure? Um, Tapi that's that's Maybe my. Maybe no, I see you around. Yeah. Gotta go to Jakarta. Yeah, okay. show me around next time. <laughs> How is it? Is it ticklish? It's good. <laughs> it must be ticklish. Oh my god. <laughs> I used to make videos giving people, letting people try Indonesian food okay, in Times nice. Square. Like Thank te you. Te boto, oh, you like Teboto? Um, La Teboto's great. Um, I always keep them in stock in my, yeah. my fridge. Indomie, Indomie goreng, that's Indomie, my favorite. Yeah. Okay. What's my favorite? Right. Or original. The, the, oh, the original. I see. Okay, I see. Yeah. Yeah. You okay? Ah, it's good. Yeah, very good. <laughs> it was an honor to meet you. And any other questions from the crowd? Sometimes they, they have things they want me to ask. No? <laughs> okay. Okay. Thanks well, so it was much. Great Thanks to so meet much. you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Talk to you again soon. Talk to you soon. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Cool.